you and tell me where the cost is. Oh, uh, the cost. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, so we're all behind you. Done. Done. I think so. All oh, right, you're, you're third. So, okay. Are the cabins clean? Excuse me? Oh, yes. Oh. Big. Look at that. Our own living room. We can invite people over to play cards. Stereo. Where are the beds? Oh look! Oh, oh this is oh. great! That's high, that's high. Uh -huh. <laughs> God, I don't want us to sit in a table with a bunch of boars like Why that. Why call them boars? The last time we took this fucking trip, some guy kept talking about machinery all the way to Hong Kong. Jesus Christ. Everybody's not the same. There's some very interesting looking people. Why are you so fucking nice to people? I told you not to swear. Don't swear when I'm in the room. Look, you want to swear? Look, woman, you don't tell me what to do. Sorry. No, don't, don't, give me any, don't give me any shit. You never let me talk. You never let me finish a sentence. I was given this number, 58, and uh, I was taken, my luggage was taken to another cabin, number 59, and I insist on the number 58, because that's what I booked for. Nova! So you, you want number 58, yes? Yeah? yeah, that's what I booked for. It's and you are in number 59? That, that's why my luggage was taken. But they're exactly the same, sir. Well, it's, I would prefer to be the 58, that's why I booked but Honestly, they're, they're quite the same, there's nothing different. Well, but, uh, really, uh, I don't want to be insistent, but uh, you should not change your plans. If I order that, I want that. Can you tell me the reason why? Okay. Oh, it's my private business. Really, I really want it. Well, see, there's not a lot that I can really do. Well, I'm afraid you have to do something. I really want to have 58. So if you could do something about that, please. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Okay? Thank you very much. Ah, here we are. There you are. That's 58 down there. Thank you very much. I'm sorry to be so insistent. It was very important to me. It's okay. Ah, thank you. Okay. Oh. 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 Debbie. Hello, I'm Chris. I'm Debbie. Oh, no, I recognize you. Weren't you on this trip last year? Yeah, I was. You're Debbie, right? Yeah. yeah. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? So, how's the man? Are you It's great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. And again, I'm very sorry about being so upset with this when I arrived. You're very kind to put it out for me. They gave me a cabin, which is, it was not a cabin I booked. And it's a cabin very low in the, in, in the ship, and there was no access for the boats whatsoever. And I was terrified when I saw that. I was really worried about it. Why can't you swim, or are you just afraid of the water? Or what? Well, it's difficult to say. I just feel. I don't know, I hate everything to do with water, I hate ships. I mean, I'm here just because I couldn't get a flight. Oh, <laughs> when did this start? Sounds really dumb to me. Dumb. Dumb. <laughs> but on board a boat like this, I don't think there's much risk. Isn't there? You think, no. You think no. no. So much better. You're, yeah. you're pretty safe. As long as you don't, you're not aboard a junk which crosses the bounds of this ship. It was a couple of years ago, we ran across a, a junk and more or less, well, <clears throat> more or less smashed it in two. And then the sharks appeared. Oh. So the people who were left in the water were... <laughs> I mean, <laughs> they, what they about it? access to the boats? I mean, didn't, didn't they reach the boats? Near here? No. Maybe four years ago. It wasn't a typhoon, you know, they had this big storm. 
coming up and the whole ship just sunk. Maybe so James we've Bond done this trip so many times and nothing has ever happened. You don't have to worry. Oh, maybe always James Bond will come in. Yeah. Probably nothing to worry about. I, I know it sounds very silly to me, but I'm really this paranoia I have. I mean, uh, this fear. I mean, I can't even face swimming pools. I hate it. Maybe we can discuss this later. Uh, I know something about psychology. I could help you. Even going to the deck is difficult for me. Uh, but you've been in the ship before, you said. Yes, we've, we take this trip every year, at every our, year. for our wedding anniversary. Uh -huh. and were you here last year? Yes. Uh -huh. It was a beautiful trip. Was it? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. We never had any problems, you know. It's, it's, it's a great boat and you have all you want, all the luxuries. This cabin really, really freaked me out. I was really worried about it. I mean, I'm still not, I still not get, got used to staying this ship. I hope, I really hope that this ship uh, finishes soon. Tell me how it started. Well, uh, yes, uh, it's a complicated story. It's something to do about a boat accident I had as a child. Mm -hmm. I, I was in a sailing, a small sailing boat, and I dropped in the water. And it's been all very traumatic. And it's awful, really, to talk about. But you know, there's so many people around here. It's so noisy. Uh, do you think you know, maybe we could go somewhere else? You can talk better about it. What about your cabin? Can you go to your cabin? Oh uh, no, that's a bit difficult. I have a few problems. My cabin is a possibility, but it's terribly small and it's terribly messy as well. I'm not a very tidy person. I think this has gone far enough. Let's go. I'm sorry, I'll, we'll talk That's later. Right. Okay. This is part of my don't life. This is going to be dumb. my career. Don't play dumb. You've done this before. This is, this is the look, only time. Look, don't do this to me. Come on in. Oh, What's been going on? I don't want to bother you with it. I. This is just, it's really complicated. But I want to hear about it. We, we care about you. We remember you from last year and the problems oh, you were having. that's so nice. Well, it's just Honoré, my husband. He meddles in my affairs too much. He's done it so many times. And right now, I've just about had it. I really have. I can't take it anymore. I mean, I was just talking. You know, um, Nelson. The man with the Oh, the, the one phobia. at dinner. Yes. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm in psychology, and that fascinates me. I mean, it's just, this is my opportunity to finally get to use what I've learned. And I was talking to him in his cabin, and bang, he came charging in, told me to leave. You know, just, oh, it's just making me so mad. What can I do? I, I'm sorry about what happened. Um, I, don't, I don't really want to cause any problems to your life. Oh, and if no. you, if this talks to cause you problems with your husband, really, maybe uh, I don't know. But uh, oh, don't we shouldn't be talking it, like no. that. I mean, no. I it's not fair on you to impose my pro to keep telling no, my problems I, I to really, you. No, I really, like I said before, I'm so interested. And you just start telling me about this. What you started telling me about before? <laughs> Gosh, I can't imagine myself talking about these things now about this boat. But <laughs> go uh, ahead. Okay, yeah. Well. It all happened so, so sudden. I mean, this, this sky suddenly turned black and this huge cloud came over and the boat capsized and I couldn't see anything. I, I, I was, I think I drowned. Uh, fortunately, I was wearing a life jacket. And since then, I mean, just the sight of water. Uh, I understand. This is a classic <laughs> case. Is it? It's textbook, really. It's, it, it happened a lot of times. I mean, it seems so unique to me. I mean, I, I, sometimes I feel I'm crazy because... No. <laughs> you got to understand that it's normal. And you're just going to have to start dealing with it. Well, that's why, I don't know, I came here, I think, Good. to face the problem. Good. But I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so far, I haven't thing. made a lot of progress. Hey, have you seen my wife? Oh, no, sorry, I haven't. <laughs> Have you 
seen my wife? Uh, yeah, I think she's around the other desk, around there. Around there? Yeah, I think so. Uh, come here, I need to see something. on the deck, which I thought was a bit strange. What well, happened to your phobia? Been... Nelson, come on, be straight with me. You must have seen someone else. No, I saw you. Honoré and I saw you. Oh, so what they're talking about? Come on, lay your cards down on the table. You can be straight with me. Come on. Can I trust you? Yes. Can I really trust you? You it's, can. It's I... very important. Yes. It's a matter of life and death. All this phobia, all the stories I've been telling you about, telling everybody about, it is partially true. It all, all this fear does exist, but it's not my fear. It's my former wife's fear. Um, she was in this boat last year, and she's, she was terrified of boats, she was terrified of water, as I said I was. And it proved to be tragic. She died last year in this boat. So, yes. No, what happened? I'm not kidding. She was seen going to the swimming pool apparently and she dived and the swimming pool was empty. She so, dived in and there was no water in the pool? No water, so... And that's the official version of the event that she dived into an empty swimming pool. That's the official version, but do you believe that? Well, no, I don't. No, I don't. I think she was murdered. Murdered? Uh, yes. There were... A photograph was taken of the corpse, and I noticed some uh, red marks on the neck. And I showed that to some forensic experts at home, and they say that she might have been strangled. So what about this phobia and this fear you've been showing? I could see it in your eyes, even, in your movements. This was all an act, actually. It wasn't my fear, it was my wife's fear. She was really worried about water and open spaces and I was just acting out. I wanted to everybody in the boat to believe that I was I had all these fears because I have reasons to believe that the murder is in the same ship. And I have also reasons to believe that this m murder has a lust for fear, an erotic lust for fear, and I'm trying to attract him. Uh, the day she died, I received a letter. The day she died, she wrote a letter to me, and I received that at home, and I could notice by the postmark uh, when it was written. Nelson, I'm scared, and not just of the endless water all around. There's someone on board, I don't know who, who has discovered my phobia and seems to be enjoying it. I feel eyes, I feel a panting excitement around me. And the more afraid I get, the more I feed this lust. Oh Nelson, why did you insist I take this trip? 